Hi guys, my name is Daniel, and in this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to install a Magento app on Zen Server. Before we actually start the installation process, we need to configure our PHP stack to handle the Magento package. The best way to do this is to use the Zen Server UI. So in the Zen Server UI, I'm going to go to the PHP page under the Configurations tab. What you're looking at now is a list of all the PHP extensions and directives. I'm going to scroll down to the Resource Limits and Tuning group. And here, I'm going to alter the value for the Max Execution Time directive and the Memory Limit directive. Once done, I'm going to save these changes and restart Zen Server. Great, we can now start installing Magento. The easiest way to do this is to simply clone the Magento mirror repository from GitHub. So I'm first going to copy the clone URL and then open the web server's document root directory. Since only files in this directory are serviced by our web server. Please note that this directory is located in different locations depending on your operating system and web server. I'm going to open git bash and enter the git clone command with the clone URL we copied before. I'm also going to specify the folder I want to clone the repository into. Let's see what we have here. Okay, everything seems to be in perfect order. So let's open Magento in our browser. The URL I'm using here consists of first the server IP, in this case localhost, and the application folder. And there we go. We get Magento's installation wizard. This isn't your first rodeo, so I'm going to complete this wizard quickly. First, agree to the terms and conditions. Yeah, these are just fine. So on this page of the wizard, I need to connect to a MySQL database. So I'm going to use PHP MyAdmin that I've already installed on Zen Server. Back in the wizard, I'm going to enter the database name and the root user credentials. I'm going to ask the wizard to skip the URL validation because I'm using localhost and it can't automatically validate the URL. Our next step is to enter some personal info. and login credentials. Looks like we're all set. We can skip this survey. And here's our Magento application. It's that easy, guys.